It was a rumor that was going around for years that there was a company looking into buying the whole area. First, I thought it was Disney. Then they found out it wasn't Disney. Then they heard it was going to be a big, huge indoor amusement park. As the years went by, we continued to hear the same story that properties were being looked at. Finally, it came true. Lower Equities wants the city to rezone parts of the historic amusement district to allow for condominiums. Developers want to build timeshare units, restaurants, shops, movie theaters, and hotels there. If you let me take out my Blackberry, I'll tell you some of the tenants. Ripley's, believe it or not, Dave and Buster's, Public Gump. Why can we not keep the old Coney Island that we all know and love? Hard Rock Live. Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. He came down like a Hercules. He's erased in history. It's not just an amusement park. This is the founder of all amusement parks. And then, what's my opinion, the Bloomberg administration realized that they have an opportunity. This week, Mayor Bloomberg unveiled his own redevelopment plan for Coney Island. It's a vision that includes major new opportunities for retailing and thousands of new housing units. Only the city can make sure it's the kind of amusement park that Coney Island is. The city has to take control of that property. Nobody, including the city, nobody cared about Coney Island. This is big money for the city. Oh, and, and the taxes from the retail, from all the, the housing that's going to be there. And basically, the locals think that all the plants suck. I think my days of Coney Island are pretty much all over. This is sad. Come on. Let's be honest. People want to put projects up there. They want to put condominiums up there. Let me give you an example. William Sinoma. Junior's Cheesecake. Maybe a Gap. Maybe a Dwayne Reed. They could care less about the music business, about zippers. Where are you going to have your bar mitzvah? Coney Island.